Hey everybody, it's Video Bob, and uh, this is a cool little item I thought I would show you. Now, this isn't a watch channel, although I have done a few watches here lately, but I think that this deserves to be on the channel because this is a DeLorean watch made by DeLorean Motor Company, or at least branded by DeLorean Motor Company. This is the box. Ships out of the UK. It says, stylized DMC DeLorean logos or registered trademarks. I don't know if DeLorean Motor Company is putting these out or the watch company is just buying the logo and putting it out, but it's obviously something for DeLorean fans. So let's check it out. This particular model is called the 1981. Comes in this nice black box. You, you know, personally, I think they should have used more of a gray leather like the interior of the DeLorean, but hey, that's just me. Now, the watch is basically a... Let me zoom in. I want to try to be kind here. It's just a uh, kind of a knockoff of the Rolex Daytona. The Rolex Daytona is one of the most, uh, you know, coveted watches in all of history. Now, they've kind of crossed a Daytona and the two-door Tiger um, by putting like a date on it here. And there's some obvious huge problems with it because it's not a true chronograph. I mean, this red hand you see moving around is the second hand, which is a battery operated quartz movement. And then you've got these indices here for measuring fractions of a second, which is impossible to do. And quite frankly, you can't actually use the tachymeter gauge here as a chronograph. You can't use this as a chronograph. Probably what's happened is they've, the, whatever Chinese company that's making Rolex knockoffs that they sell at the flea market for like 50 bucks, is they just put this dial on here, which is very cool the way they've done it. I mean, this is to simulate a DeLorean taillight where you've had the brake light, uh, turn signal, and backup lights in that little circle. Got your DMC logo there. Uh, the date being sideways is a little weird. And it's all polished, I assume, stainless steel. Let's have a look at it. Now, you know, this is all based on a Rolex. They've got solid links here, which is very good. Looks like some uh, maybe push pins here. This clasp has a protective cover on it. I'm not going to take off. You have a fold over clasp and then some buttons you press and you can open it up. And you can see it's just kind of stamped steel. I mean, I, I can't expect it to be like a Rolex. It's a $150 watch, 100 pounds, somewhere in there. The, this isn't a watch I don't, th I don't think you would wear this very much because I got to be honest, all this polished metal, this isn't a high grade of stainless steel or, or whatever this is. It, it, this would scratch instantly and look pretty rough pretty quick. I think that this is a collector's item for DeLorean fans, DeLorean owners, maybe. A great gift for a DeLorean owner. Something to wear to maybe the next DeLorean car show or, or something just for fun. I don't know if I would want to wear this every day. It has a two-year battery, um, but... As far as wearing it day to day, just for fun, I, I have with me here to show you the difference. This is a true Rolex Daytona chronograph. Now this is a brand new model. Now this is a $13,000 watch retail. They sell for about $20,000 in the aftermarket. You can see that this one's a little bit bigger, um, but it, it's, it's made to simulate a Daytona Rolex, but it doesn't operate in the same way whatsoever. Now, I, this one, I have the chronograph working just for demonstration purposes so that you can kind of see what's going on. But, you know, uh, the, the way this one works, these are, are screwed down, and, and this is a true tachymeter that shows you the seconds. But this doesn't have a date on it because it's a true chronograph, and it works with a jeweled movement. If you can, if you can see how, well, how that sweeps on this one here, how the chronograph sweeps. And also that smaller dial on the bottom is the seconds hand. And I have them synchronized just for fun, just for the video. But if you see how this thing works, you know, you, you press this button and it starts the seconds counter. And then you can stop again and you can reset it. But you couldn't use this as a chronograph in any way. So we're not even going to talk about it being a chronograph. This is not for watch collectors. No watch enthusiast. A watch enthusiast would throw this out the window. <laughs> This is for DeLorean fans and novelty fans, people that are into the 80s, which is why it's called the 1981. I mean, when you look at the clasp of this thing and the way it's built, you might think that's pretty good until you see how they actually do a Rolex. You know, this thing, you know. But again, I can't compare 
this $150 watch to this $20,000 watch. I mean, this is like surgical stainless steel. You know, this is one of the best watches made on the planet Earth. Okay, <laughs> so I can't really compare. So uh, on the back, on, on the back here, you have officially licensed product, DeLorean Motor Company with a picture of the DeLorean. And uh, so look, I'm not dogging the watch. I mean, what do you expect? It's a $150 watch. It's got a cool laser DMC logo on there. But I think that if you wore this very much, I can just tell just from, just from handling it, uh, it wouldn't last very long. But it's a fun watch. And this is not the only model, by the way. They make a bunch of different ones. This one I just thought was the most DeLorean-esque. Uh, the colors simulate the kind of the... the the speedometer in a, a bit in a way. I like the indices here. I don't generally like numbered markings. I like them like this. I like the logo. I like the contrast. Now, of course, I still have the plastic on here so over the crystal, which is probably glass, uh, of course. Um, but I'm going to leave the plastic on this watch. I'm going to keep this as a collector's item. I'm just going to stuff it in a drawer, and then one day, maybe somebody will be interested in it. I don't know. I'm just going to have it as a collector's item. And maybe... I go to a DeLorean event, I'll, I'll put it on. But for now, I'm going to keep the plastic on it. So I'm sorry to disappoint you people out there that have a fetish for peeling, peeling plastic, plastic on. But I don't know if I can get any closer. And there's the watch. These are really cheap. Oh, I, I have, uh, this is not a, uh, let me come up a little bit. This is not a sponsored video. Uh, I'm not getting anything from this. I bought this myself. I don't, it's not an affiliated link. I don't make any money off of this whatsoever, but I'm gonna, as a courtesy, I'm gonna post a link to the watch if you wanna buy one, great. But if you like this video, and if you are a fan of DeLorean cars, if you're a fan of the 80s, if you're a fan of movies, things like that, please like and subscribe to my channel. This is the stuff we do. Go peruse some of my other videos. We build DeLorean time machines here, Knight Rider cars, Ghostbusters, and everything. So if, if, if you're here because of the DeLorean watch, because of the DeLorean, you want to check out our other videos and the other things we do. Thanks for uh, checking this out, and um, have a good day. Thanks. Bye. <laughs>